The 17th century marked the beginning of a significant period in the history of North America, as England claimed the entire central area of the coast and named it Virginia. This chapter of colonization was pivotal, laying the foundational stones for what would eventually become the United States. It was characterized by daring ventures, harsh challenges, and the establishment of enduring economic and social structures. In 1606, King James that issued a colonization charter that established two limited liability companies, the London Company and the Plymouth Company. These companies were tasked with establishing settlements in the New World. The London Company, more formally known as the Virginia Company of London, was the first to undertake the challenge. At the end of 1606, three ships, Susan Constant, Godspeed, and Discovery set sail from England with approximately 100 men on board. Led by Commander Christopher Newport, the expedition arrived in Chesapeake Bay in April 1607. Newport chose a site approximately 70 kilometers inland along the banks of the James River, named in honor of the king. This site, Jamestown, was strategically chosen to be hidden from Spanish ships patrolling the coast from their bases in Florida. Despite its advantageous location, Jamestown faced immediate and severe hardships. The swampy, mosquito-infested environment led to widespread disease, and the settlers were ill-prepared for the harsh realities of their new home. The first years in Jamestown were brutal. The settlers struggled with starvation, disease, and frequent conflicts with the indigenous Powhatan Confederacy. By the end of the winter of 1609 to 1610, known as the Starving Time, the population had dwindled to about 60 survivors from the several hundred who had initially settled. A turning point came with the arrival of John Rolfe, who introduced a new variety of tobacco in 1612. This tobacco, which was more palatable to European tastes than the local variety cultivated by Native Americans, became a highly profitable cash crop. Tobacco farming quickly transformed the economic landscape of Virginia, leading to its moniker, Virginia's Gold. The relationship between the English settlers and the Powhatan Confederacy was complex and often strained. Initially, there were attempts at peaceful coexistence and cooperation. The marriage of John Rolfe to Pocahontas, the daughter of Chief Powhatan in 1614, symbolized a brief period of peace and mutual benefit. Pocahontas, who converted to Christianity and took the name Rebecca, became an intermediary between the English and her people, helping to ease tensions. However, the rapid expansion of tobacco farming required more land, leading to increased encroachment on Powhatan territories. This expansion led to heightened tensions and ultimately to violent confrontations. On March 22, 1622, the Powhatan launched a surprise attack, killing 350 settlers, roughly a quarter of the English population in Virginia at the time. This massacre marked a significant turning point, leading to a relentless and often brutal suppression of the Powhatan people by the English. The massacre and the ongoing conflicts exposed the Virginia Company's inability to protect its settlers and maintain order. Dissatisfaction among the settlers grew, leading to calls for greater protection and stability. In response to these challenges and internal dissension within the Virginia Company, King James I dissolved the company in 1624. Virginia became a royal colony, directly governed by the English crown. Under royal control, the colony began to stabilize and grow. By 1650, the population of Virginia had risen to around 5,000 settlers. However, this growth came at a significant cost to the indigenous populations. Most of the Powhatan villages were destroyed, and their people were driven from their ancestral lands. The early history of Virginia is a story of resilience and adaptation. The settlers' ability to overcome severe hardships and establish a profitable economy based on tobacco farming laid the groundwork for the future prosperity of the colony. The social and political structures that emerged in Virginia, including the establishment of the House of Burgesses in 1619, the first representative legislative assembly in the New World, would become key elements of American governance. Virginia's early years also set the stage for complex and often tragic interactions between European settlers and Native American populations. The initial cooperation followed by violent conflict and dispossession would be a recurring theme in the expansion of European settlements across North America.